Hello and welcome back. I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Tunisian Thievery campaign. I better <laughs> soon. My damn truce is gonna be up with this guy. Um. Yeah, it's fairly soon. Seven years. Our truce is up with who else soon? Jazz, twenty-seven. It's not good. He's gonna join the coalition probably. Yeah, he really hates me. You know, I think probably more importantly than like fabricating on the Mamluks or even the Ottomans right now is I should probably try to improve relations with some of these jerks that want to join the coalition. So Hejaz in particular. Um, Aragon doesn't matter. France doesn't matter. None of these other guys matter. It's just, well, I guess apparently it's just Hejaz. If I can improve relations with him over the next two years, maybe? Maybe I can get him to not be such a, uh, you know, bastard. That would be the goal. Clearly we're smashing the crap out of Louis the Tenth, uh, Twelfth because he's an, he's a loser. Actually, he's doing very, very well against my center flank. Center flank? Yeah, that's a thing. Not really. Looks like our center is actually getting routed. Yep. We got a, ca a cab that replaced the center. Okay. You guys should actually head up here then. Still, the French hopefully will not be able to retreat far, and we will get a stack wipe out of this. Which, again, is like what I'm <laughs> the only thing holding me together here is I got 20 war score from battles. Oh, well, that's not true. He's got this province over here. So we can retreat to that province. We will have an army there. However, it'll take him quite a while to get there. Probably. So, I should not put this army there. Yet. Unless... It looks like he... No, November 22nd. I don't think he can get to Midja before 31st. I don't I don't know. If he gets there... Yeah, it's fine. It's, well... Let's start the process of the movement. Let's wait like three or four days. Let's wait again. He will be there on the 22nd. It's two days from now. I'm not locked yet. Let's wait. One more try. And he will be there on the 2nd of December. Yeah, so no stack wipe. That's unfortunate. Okay, mercs go away. Um, straight up consolidate them. I actually have a tiny, tiny bit of manpower right now. We have 19 units of infantry. Let's train two more. 45 days. 46 days. That's good. Again, uh, continuing, hopefully, to, to try to get rid of these mercs in the near future. Um, oh, crap. No, I actually did let you get caught. Shoot. And you're in enemy territory now. Shoot. You can be there on the third, though. You can reinforce them in one day with a leader. I don't, let's do that. Again, that's not really what I meant to do, but, uh, hey. Sometimes mistakes happen. Yes, yeah, it's, it's true. Our army's under attack. I'm not surprised. I'm really not. We're gonna buy this down. We lose our bonus. That's a lot of dudes that are actually fighting us right now. They're all very, very weak, but uh, if we don't get some reinforcements there fast, uh, this this could actually be a loss. He's landing troops in Dakra now instead of in landing landing or just docking in this current existing fight. He's going to do a, na do a naval invasion of Dakra. That's cool. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just say you win this fight uh, with both troops, preferably, so that we can stack wipe you right now. I think that that's far more important. And I'm just completely ignoring what's going on over here. This is obviously not good. He's going to take Cairo soon. Got Damascus. He's going to have... Uh, he's not going to have enough war score to, to stab hit me. If he got that far, I would be absolutely ruined. I should probably improve relations with either... Hejaz, like I had planned on doing. Or at least my vassal or something. Mamluks. At least, you, at least you don't get aggressive expansion from spying anymore. That was that was so annoying. Okay. Um, I don't know where his troops just went, but they just sort of disappeared. Blockading my capital. Uh, we will leave behind. Well, that's never a good sign. When it shows a cannon as the, uh, the symbol. It means you have more cannons than anything else. Yeah, that's not good. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to get rid of the 66. Leave behind the one guy. Let's head down to Figwig. And again, you're going to march along the coast. Got to join up with the other army. Should have sent them earlier. <sighs> rival, rival. Still can't do that. Austria, man. I wish you were like at least trying to like play nicely here and counteract French, the Frenchies. How strong is Austria? Austria has 37,000 troops versus French's... French's. Yeah, that's right. 34,000. Tech 10 versus Tech 10. Like, you would be a perfect match for this dude. 
And yet, you don't want to help me. You just want me to cry. Alright, so, okay. I've given up on naval superiority with heavies over the Ottomans, at least with these ships. I would like to sell these ships, but no one likes me. There is literally, I think, no one to sell my ships to. Can, can you sell ships to your vassal? I don't think you can. I forget. Sell ships. You can't sell ships while you're at war. Well, I knew that, but I'm saying, can I sell the ships to him? Alright, what is this point one? Uh, group you guys up. Consolidate down. And again, everyone is marching to Figwig. Except you kind of need to follow the coast. Alright, ten in the front. Right now we only have four infantry. I need more infantry in this army. Head to Kazdir. All you guys can go to Kazdir as well. Supply should be fine here to get up to 20. We've lost a claim on a bunch of crap. It's fine. Whatever. I don't really care. Take up defensive position in Figwig since he's got a march. Oh, he's actually going to go fight the, Mem the, the Moroccans, which is kind of strange. Yeah, well, he's independent from Morocco, so I guess... No, I guess it actually doesn't make sense. And uh, he's probably... It looks like, <laughs> looks like he's going to win. That's hilarious. Because he spawned with my tech levels. And this guy's still on tech 8 to my tech 9. Yeah, he won pretty handily there. I don't actually want to engage that army. Um, I think we will just take the three mercs. And, I don't know, try try to prepare somehow to, to engage the Ottoman army as it approaches, because it is coming. It's coming really soon. If this guy comes back, he's already done his damage. He's already raised the, uh, the uh, separatism by a bit. All that we really need to do is just get control of that gold mine again for right now. And, uh, you know, uh, somehow maybe stop the bleeding. 3,200... 3,260 gold. Kind of a lot. We have 30 war score. Even the French are down to medium, but they don't want to peace out for any reason. Like, they're not going to take away peace yet. Morocco. I need, uh, how many points now? 40. Wow, it's really getting up there. Mamluks. Uh, you don't really matter that much. I already got two claims on you. That's plenty. Okay, let's just see how close the uh, the French actually are to peacing out. I would really love to be able to go raiding right now, because there is money available. I need it. Badly. Um, okay, that one's already been taken back. Why aren't you marching east? This is the facts. You should be. I accidentally sent the wrong troop, apparently. Okay. Everyone to the facts. France. Go away! They give 17 reasons, which is the exact number of war enthusiasm that he has. Yeah, he's got to get down to low enthusiasm if you want him to, to peace out. And it's not going to happen until... <sighs> really, until uh, Length of War gets just crazy, crazy low. He just got more enthusiasm because he got Cairo. And we guess we're getting about 0.1. No, only 0.06. That's not that bad. We can handle that for a little while. I might just keep on spending all my Dipple points on Find on War Exhaustion. That's fine. No big deal. Hey, uh, do you want to, like, become my ally and, like, go beat up France? Just saying, it's an option. You will land in Midja with three troops. I bet it's the 0-2-1 layout that he likes so much. This is his favorite. Head to, head to Midja. Please don't come. Please don't come back to my land. Tell me that Tafiel has cores over here. He does. Good. Go bother him more. Also, do we have anyone that's close to enforcing the Mamluks? Mamlukian separatists still exist because Raz Garab never actually got taken back, because. The Ottomans immediately started the Siege of Cairo, so it couldn't take back this province. So sometime within the next 50 months, I need to take back Razgrab. I could train a troop here, but that'd be kind of suicidal. I would only do that in a desperation situation. Like, two months before it would actually happen is when I would do it. June 8th, we arrive on the 30th. That's good. Again, three infantry with four cav to flank. And you want what? <laughs> no. Go to hell. You... <laughs> You, uh, I think you're mistaken. Yeah, you only have 40 war score? That's not enough. I've won 21... I've won pr most battles, except for the stupid naval ones. Lucka is worth 9 war score for some damn reason. Lucka, I wish you would... Just, and he's never even managed to convert to Sunni. He's still Catholic. He's not a very useful vassal yet. Alright, France. Let's play this again. Damn it, they came back. 
<sighs> I guess I'm going to have to leave behind one troop over here. We actually only have 20 units of infantry right now. I need to train more. Okay, I'm going to train a single infantry over here just to play clean up and play, you know, tag with that guy, essentially. As he continues to uh, to move around, we'll just unsiege whatever he sieges since he's, he's not going to go for Ceuta. Hi, France. That's really smart of you. I lost 56 troops to kill 3,000. I hear that's pretty good. My 19th will have you. I have I have manpower. I have no money. The disasters I don't think are a real concern. Can't have any real interaction with our estates. The 23 stack is 20 wide. I can flank it. And actually have uh, pretty good flanking. I could flank with uh, all four cav. We have more cannons. He's a 2-3. I've got a 4-4. Four, four. Renew war taxes. I mean... I really want military tech 10. That would be really nice. However... I also really don't want to go bankrupt. <laughs> like, going bankrupt seems like a really bad idea. In fact, I think we might have to just give up on the idea of having advisors right now, because, okay, that guy finally died. Um, none of these guys are going to make me money. I don't need spy network construction. I certainly don't need the Dipple points. You, you just have to go away. You, I think, though, save me money. So I'm going to keep you. We're going to have to just, you know, buckle up, strap down, whatever you want to call it, until, uh... Again, I've lost my claims on Venice. I've never managed to actually attack that guy. All right, yes, please do come and attack me. I am looking forward to the engagement. I think we'll do just fine. I don't care about that. I can't core. He has 39 war score. The French are at uh, 18 enthusiasm. If I could take back a couple castles, a couple forts, he would stop being interested in being in the war, I think. A big part of Fran France's reason for being in the war is Alliance War Score plus 19. So it's half of the positive war score that they have is a, is a reason for staying in the war. Okay, um, I think we just had just we just go throw ourselves at the Ottoman's army here. He's not on tech 10. He doesn't have an advantage over me. He has 20 in the front. I want these last two infantry to arrive, hopefully. So let's actually go to, uh, to Gafsa. We have plenty of time to, to make it to Gafsa and back, so there's no chance he can in, he can actually cut me off before I get my full troop count. And then we'll just engage him in Safax, probably. He'll be there on the 19th, we'll be there on the 23rd. We are engaging him, flat terrain, nice and wide. We've got 20 versus uh, 20 in the front versus 20 in the front. We have 6 cannons versus 3 cannons. We have full offensive ideas, he does not. I don't think. He only, still only has two, so we actually do have... Um, well, he's got he's got a number of modifiers. He's got 10% infantry combat ability, combat ability. He's got extra discipline from the Janus series, I think. He's going to he's gonna cause me some issues. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong. He's not going to be a pushover, but... It's still 30,000 on 23,000. We should do just fine in this fight. However, I think he's, uh, he's probably going to be able to just retreat all the way home. Flank him. Don't let him roll a 9. That's not fair. There you go. 6 versus a 0. That's what I'm talking about. Kill the auto man. Flank those cavalry. Kill those cavalry. Go and bother the Moroccans, please. Recent uprising has expired. <sighs> you never like seeing that. You really don't. The Jazz is attacking me. Or, or fabricating on me, rather. Any any battle that I can win and get war score in is going to help out tremendously with making France not want to be in the war. Oh, two versus a nine is really painful. Still, um, no cannons in the front row. That's really bad. Please stop going to the front row. We did win. Please tell me. Yes. Awesome. He's far enough away. He actually is going to get a stack wipe here. That is so, so, so good. That is literally 23 regiments. Granted, they're weakened, but uh, he's probably going to con consolidate them down. Nope. Still 16. Still 16. We will arrive on the 25th. Still 16. We just stack, stack wiped or will stack wipe most likely 23 regiments. We should. Yeah, zero morale. Before the end of the first two combat phases, it should work. We need to back off a little bit. You're too close. And if not, then we just have to go one more province over. Why are we still fighting? Why does this guy have any morale at all? We lost 18 troops, and now... Damn it! One infantry apparently blocked him from suffering a stack wipe. An instantaneous 23 regiment stack wipe. Crap! Really needed that. And we now have negative 6,000 manpower. So there goes all our manpower. So I hear that's, uh, not good. This army is fine. It's 21 in the front row. We could use one more, one more infantry. 
I do have money and I do have manpower, so I'm gonna go ahead and train one more dude along the way. We're gonna head east and we're just gonna try to take back Cairo. That's what I've gotta do. Negative 37 war score, 16 enthusiasm for France. No risk of anybody enforcing demands yet. I hate the fact that you... You know what I should do is just never, never unsiege Mitja. Just let them retreat to there or something. The fact that I didn't get that stack wipe is, is very disappointing. Yeah, yeah, Venice has started a trade league yet again. I'm honestly not surprised. <laughs> they do it all the time. Alright, no disasters coming up. Um, war exhaustion's getting kind of high again. Plenty of power projection. Yeah, 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 he took Taffy Law, took my gold mine back again. The French are not landing any troops. That's not true, he's landing seven troops in Mitja. So this one troop needs to leave. He, he can't be here. As much as I want him to be able to take that gold mine back, I can't afford to do that. And I, I need the entire army to fight this other Ottoman stack over here. However, he'll come to me. And the French army is easier to kill, and if I knock France out earlier, that would be better. So seven infantry at full strength, please. If at all possible. Let's grab, uh... Let's just get, just get rid of the first 13 then, I guess. I think those guys are the strongest. You go to, uh... Mitja. Back up the French. Maybe I do just take care of this while we're over here. Suffering attrition? That can't be. I'll let that happen. Okay, we lost piety, but we got less, a little bit less uh, national unrest. Actually pretty good for me right now. Don't merge with that navy, that army. Please, I don't want to suffer any attrition on the march over there. The army's the ideal size. It won't arrive until January 22nd, so it's it's got a long way to go. It'll be about a month late. But these French will die very easily, as they always seem to do. How long until this tech? January of 30. Four more years! Just three, well, three more years! <laughs> we stay in this war for three more years, we will actually have even maybe better tech than the Ottomans! Yay! Oh god. This is such a bad war. It's so difficult. And, uh, I'm enjoying it. I'll admit. Okay, this time he actually deployed something that makes some something of sense. We've got five infantry in the front row. So we don't need this many troops. Again, let's pull back uh, once you get to ours. The weakest two. Um, let's march into Kabylia. Go to Constantine instead. These guys all march up to here. I would love if the Ottomans would continue to send troops this way. Don't let that guy get picked off. I mean, I, I basically have to win almost every other battle. I need 16 more war score from battles just to, to make the Ottomans not want to be in the war anymore. He actually almost is down to low enthusiasm, so... Alright, Anaba. We can be there on the 11th. You're going to be there in sooner than that. It's uh, not exactly good terrain. Why don't we just wait one pro one more province? You know he's going he's going to march to Tunis. That's what he's doing. Just trust me, it is. You just know that it is. So we'll engage him in Bizert. He's got uh, two maneuver. We have two maneuver. Uh, let's hold on for a second in Kef. I don't know. Yeah, he's marching to our capital. Perfect. Okay, January 23rd. We'll just go and engage. Uh, what are you talking about? There's a river here. Tunis may get a crossing penalty. What? He's gonna be there before me. There's no river. You're, you're full of it, game. There is no river crossing. It's nonsense. How did that army get caught? Damn it. Why was he so much faster than me? No longer trading in sugar. Uh, okay, just make sure there's no peace offer, or sorry, no no stab hit. There is not, so screw you. All right, the Mamlukian separatists are actually getting me a little bit concerned here. Forty-one months. I don't want to train a regular troop, but I also don't want to waste like twenty gold or whatever it's going to cost to hire a merc and then disband it. Okay, you are marching to Sus. You are actually retreating the full length. Great, and by great I mean not great. 9 stack, 8 stack, 1 8 stack. I gotta, I gotta, I need that freaking gold mine. I need money. I am bleeding to death in gold cost. <clears throat> Alright, let's just go take care of this thing. I don't, I don't think that he's gonna let me. 
have Morocco take care of it. I wish Morocco was maybe actually a little bit stronger so they would just take care of it, but no, they're not. Okay, get rid of the, the weakest... Probably 10 infantry? Yeah. Let's send this 20 stack over. Just take care of that, please. And we just gotta wait. We gotta, we gotta wait for uh, another landing or for the Ottomans to come all the way over to me. Or... I don't know for what, but we gotta keep buying down this stuff because uh, I can't afford to, uh, to not. We are at uh, 22 infantry right now. I might just do this anyway, just to... How much time do I have? 40 months, that's a long time. That's the, that's the full three years to the next tech level. That's plenty of time. Why are you suffering attrition? Stop that. You have maneuver value. Get the hell out of these provinces that suffer attrition. Please don't be in a, in a province with attrition. Damn it. Suffering 1.2% attrition for no reason at all. That's really dumb. I have no better maneuver leader. So yeah, he's just gonna he's just gonna suffer that attrition. Cool. Great. So glad to see it. Unfortunately, the Ottomans have conquered enough land down here now that they are all able to retreat, it seems like. So that is uh not good. But <sighs> they're not really able to get any more war score. They already have the max war score from ticking, and they're losing war score over time, because I continuously am winning battles. At least, it feels like it. I mean, they're still, they've are still they been sitting at negative 40 for a while. They've been building it up. He's on low enthusiasm, but even on low enthusiasm, he's not going to peace out yet. It's so annoying that i got to go take care of this damn rebellion again. Alright, i got to take a break here. Oof. So nice if the damn Austrians would help us out, but uh, apparently not going to happen. So, dra. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take a break here. See you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.